Hey guys, Jeremy here from Communion Wine Co. Now I want you to think about what is your go-to wine. If you're gonna go out to a restaurant, how many different types of wine would you consider ordering? For most people, it's one or two or maybe three different kinds of wines because that's really all we know and we don't wanna order something and, and not love it. But I'd encourage you to explore and to, to consider yourself a learner when it comes to wine because there's so much out there. I began drinking wine with a Cabernet Sauvignon or Merlot, these really deep reds, and they went good with steaks, and I thought, yeah, that's the kind of wine I drink, and never really explored more than that, until I moved to Oregon. Then I discovered Pinot Noir and realized I loved it, and started trying some whites that I actually realized I liked those as well. And I just kept adding more and trying new things. And one of the things that has been a surprise to me is, I really like a white wine called a Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, you can find these a lot from California and New Zealand is also really known for these. But this is a great white wine. It's not like many white wines you may have had before. It's got what are called herbaceous notes to it, which is a fun word to describe uh, flavors of like green bell pepper or asparagus or even fresh cut grass, which as someone who likes red wine, I really enjoy that aspect of, of this white wine. But I never knew that, I never would have had that until just recently. And so part of the fun of, of life and of enjoying wine is just consider yourself a learner. There's so much to learn, there's so much to explore, and if you keep an open mind and if you go into it as, as someone who just wants to keep discovering more, there is so much out there, and your next amazing glass of wine may be just waiting for you. Keep learning.